we've already done that. Problematic. We've already done that. You guys. I think the only thing about that is, is that you feel that way because that's your sentiment. Like you, at one point, was a divorce mom. Doesn't mean that you know you didn't have assistance. No, because they haven't shamed me yet. I'm fine. You have that new reality. You have the new reality of now. I have a man. So everything you're speaking to, to me, it just comes off as projection. It comes no, off it as... No, it doesn't, I was because I was never a single... I was never I what children. they described I as I what's not, unacceptable. I, I did not say your child's father, your children's father didn't help you. And then when you listen to respond, that'd be the issue. I said, you sound like you're projecting your feelings based off of your reality because from the women that i have been around the women that i see in these constant scenarios on tiktok and facebook we have seen time and time again what you're talking about you are an anomaly ma'am it is very rare for black women to not get only married but to get married twice and still i know be able that, to do that i know he's not talking about me because he's so talking about people that have rejected. never been married so stop acting I'm like I'm projecting about- because I'm not. I just understand that I'm in the minority and there is no point in time where we as a minority of the minority have any type of power to throw away the majority. It doesn't make any sense. You guys can stay your ass in the minority of the minority and keep failing. But we in this minority that actually understand that the majority and us are the only way that we're going to succeed as a community. We understand that we need to help each other for us to grow what? as a community. No, we can't just no. say the, problem, the majority of people the problem, that are the problem up, is, they're just the going to have to is, figure it out on their own and all of their children are going to have to figure it out help on their own. That's a threat to the community. We have to help each other. But the what, problem, wait, Fantasy Island Girl, what is it that you think that to. divorced single women need help with? I'm not speaking on a divorced single woman. I'm speaking on the women that had children before they were married. They they've never been married. They just had children. So what do, they been mean, what do they need help with? What do they, they need help the with financial stability? They need help with child care. They need help with food. They need oh help my with God. clothing. They, they need, need help with a lot of the things because that they it takes created. more than one person to raise a child successfully most times. So, so if they don't have the they, why, they have okay, hold on, So why can't they just get get back with the child's father, providing that it's not a dangerous situation. Providing it's not a dangerous pre- situation, providing he actually wants to be in a relationship with her, right? No, a lot of times, it's not about, you, yeah. These ahead. people don't, you can't force somebody to be in a relationship with you. And you so can't these force women are chasing you. you. You can't even force somebody to have a relationship with their child. So a lot of these women are chasing their baby's fathers down, trying to make them have the relationship that they yeah. need. That's a, no, that is a mon- minority, what you're talking okay. about. Majority of their gotta... fathers want to be with their kids, but, the, but these mothers are saying, I don't want you to be around because I don't like you. I don't like the new girlfriend that you have. So that's not true. I you think, think that... that's the majority? Absolutely. I don't want yeah. you around because I don't like you. I don't like the girlfriend you have, even though I'm struggling. You think that's the majority? Because yes. I think that's a myth. No, it's not. Well, it's not it's it's the 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 I'm talking about, and I'm talking about black most people. of the times oh, it's because they cannot communicate effectively. Not because of a girlfriend. It's because they literally been at each other's throats since they had the baby. And they're basically just keeping it cute until something blows up again. They've never been friends. They've never been friends. They've never been pregnant in a relationship, alone. really. There are some women that the, the dad ain't even showing up for the pregnancy because of whatever reason. Like, they're never having a copacetic relationship to begin with. Damn conversation. Damn them being able to communicate. The reality is we have a lot of black women who have a conditioning that thinks that if I have a baby and he's not around, shit's going to be good because I have X, Y, and Z to rely on. I say this, and I, I hate to even personal experience. Just put it out there. Personal experience. I know firsthand. I've watched this situation of a person be pregnant by a man who had multiple children. And the first thing she said was, it's cool because my mama always got my back. That is the community. Her mama did not make that fucking baby. Her mama was not there when she was dealing with that man and having the stresses of issues with that man. She went through the pregnancy by herself the entire time. Motherfucker didn't even come to the birth room. And then he decided months later, now I want to be a dad. Don't take my rights away. After it was her putting the pressure on him to say, well, shit, since she ain't going to be here, you might as well go ahead and sign him over. But the reality is, that is the majority. We have to stop sitting here acting like Women are so gung-ho to wanting men to be in the household, to understanding the value of a man with a parent. The only time they understood 
what it mean to have a father around was when it's they raggedy ass daddy who wasn't around. But when it comes to their children and their child's needs, if the man ain't cutting the check for the baby, they don't want to hear it. Care. So sitting here trying to say all the community needs to do is step in and help with all of this additional financial aid, which Clout Jones already mentioned. They have subsidiaries, they have programs, but have to, you can get a voucher to send your kids to daycare if you're a single mama, literally. So what are you, they don't need no help unless it's come from the other parent. Put that responsibility. While y'all fighting so hard to put it on the community, fight that hard to put it on the man who helped make, make the fucking baby. Start They've been there. fighting all this time. Have you been missing it? They've been fighting all this time, asking for child support, okay. asking for financial wait, aid, wait, asking wait, wait. for things outside of the outside of what they would get from themselves from the father. So but, what yeah. are you talking about? But these ladies that you're talking about, most of these ladies are leaving this man. They're leaving and making the situation worse. And I'm not talking about the situation. This I ain't man. talking about that. But They're women leaving are leaving men man. because of the communication that you mentioned, right? Oh, we don't get along. We're not compatible. Men don't say that. They will stay and, and fight for what they got going on. But women are actually leaving their relationship and say they need help. You could have had help if you stayed and you work it out. So if what do they stay go, through? They stay through the cheating. They stay through the lying. They so stay everybody's through the cheating. Lying. I'm not talking about I'm most not, people cheat. No, most people don't. Most people have been in a relationship where they've been cheated on, or they've cheated. Both are cheating. Are that Let, this both person, cheating. this person is supposed most to stay. Thank you, but she could have cheated. I'm just saying they're supposed yeah. to stay through the cheating. They're supposed to stay through the talk, through the miscommunications. They're supposed to stay through the, the lying. I understand these things, but most people are not going to stay through the cheating. They're just fucking not. They're well, not going to stay through the lying. Cheat. They're just fucking not. And you can't force them to. So outside of the ability to force somebody to stay in a relationship that they believe is toxic, the only thing we can do is provide financially no. and provide physically no. for the child. No. And if no. you're not doing that as a parent, Yes. And if you're not doing that as and emotionally, and if you're not doing that as a parent, you are failing. And if you are failing as a parent, you need assistance because the child cannot no. fail. What no. needs to be provided. Okay, so you no. have to agree to disagree. Well, the only thing that needs to be provided is the father. The only thing that needs to be provided is the father. I don't care. If I just think, said. I don't wait. So the, the parent. Point, all right. So the point is. The only person that needs to be provided is the father. You can't then say, oh, well, these people decided they don't want to be together anymore. So community, come in and pay for everything. No. No, I said he, he should if, still be providing. But if he's not, then we're who not, is going, not if he help. has failed, nobody. if he is failing, who is going to help? Nobody. Wait, wait. Either go back to no, your no, man no, or the keep community, it pushing. Sir. The Either community, go back sir. to your man or keep it pushing. Even if the main right. We don't ever have these conversations when women deal with a man who has passed away. If she's struggling on her own, we assume that there has been some form of a supplement in place, whether it's life insurance, whether it was form, some, some form of social security or whatever. We always assume that that woman don't need no damn help. She move on with life. Why do y'all fight so hard for active, alive men who can be well-to-do, nothing's wrong with him, to have this separation and then you want to be contingent upon when he get to be a deadbeat or when he don't because now you want the community to step up. No, ma'am. He made the baby. We all take that gamble. If you go sleep with a man, even if he been, been in the house with you, even if he married you, it's a possibility he may wake up one day and feel different. You know who that child got to deal with? Still the parent. Still the damn parent. Even if that man not around, he could be on a business trip. He could be overseas. He could be dead. Yo damn responsibility. Stop trying to put that on everybody else. I ain't gonna give you We're my not. money because you to stay here and had a baby. We're not. 